What's more interesting than living in a city that is floating on the ocean? With dozens of megacities and exciting projects being built around the world, Saudi Arabia is outdoing itself by creating a city that is built like a yacht. Day after day, we're seeing new technological advancements, and one of the newest additions to this list is the new floating city that is being built by Saudi Arabia. But how big is this floating yacht? What about the construction aspects, and how much cost is required to build this unique project? In this video, we're covering Pangeos, the Terra Yacht, a project so unique that it has captured the attention of millions around the world. So subscribe to the channel if you're into some of the most innovative mega projects from around the world. Now, let's get started with the video. Can you imagine an $8 billion plus floating turtle city? Well, it is already becoming a reality thanks to Saudi Arabia. The Pangeos is a floating city comprising various hotels, shopping centers, and aircraft ports. And it also features all the facilities needed to become the world's first floating city. The name Pangeos is sourced from Pangea, which was a supercontinent that existed around 200 million years ago. The Lazzarini Design Studio made a lot of effort to make this design real and have it work in a way where it actually works. This firm is located in Rome, and it uses 3D technology to craft designs and concepts. However, the sea vessel of Pangeos would be the largest sea vessel ever built, and it would be built by a Japanese developer, Sumimoto Heavy Industries, that are known to make some of the most reliable constructions in the world. Moreover, if we talk about the world of yachts, we have many players around the world. However, the largest yacht currently available in the world is a German one called the Azam, which is around 180.61 meters in length. However, even though it looks like an absolute titan, it will be dwarfed by Pangeos, the Terra Yacht, which is projected to be around 610 meters wide and 550 meters long. Quite the size, right? This design will serve as a floating city, with enough space for public places like parks, malls, restaurants, hotels, and a lot more. According to Lazzarini, Pangeos could hold up to 60,000 people, aside from the massive number of crew and personnel of the yacht. According to the current information, the yacht would be enough to house 69 apartments and 19 villas on each side of the wing of the Pangeos. Moreover, on the rooftop shell, we see 72 terraces. The design of Pangeos looks quite similar to a football stadium, with a rooftop full of solar plates. These plates will help power the whole turtle-shaped city and give it the light it needs to run effectively. However, when we talk about its speed, the Pangeos is anticipated to have a speed of only 5 knots or 5.7 miles per hour. The yacht has a total of nine 16,800 horsepower HTS engines built by Mitsubishi. However, why the slow speed? Well, the steady pace does make sense, especially when we take a look at its huge weight on water. Visitors can choose a maritime vessel or an airplane to go from Pangeos to other areas. Moreover, on board, a port on other vessels would also be built. The upper shell region of the turtle will provide access to flying objects. The bows start at the port's main plaza and stretch through a large terraced villa, ultimately reaching the residences that will be built quite finely. It also stretches towards structures and rooftop terraces. The design team's basement incorporates 30,000 cells or cluster compartments that offers an unsinkable floating solution, which will be made purely out of steel. The exterior of Pangeos is designed to be both functional and aesthetically pleasing. The turtle shape is aerodynamic and helps to reduce drag. The wings are covered in solar panels, which will provide the Terra Yacht with most of its power. The hull of Pangeos is made of a lightweight and durable material. It is also painted white to reflect sunlight and reduce heat absorption. The interior of Pangeos is designed to be comfortable and luxurious. The living quarters are spacious and well-appointed. The amenities are also top-notch, with a variety of restaurants, shops, and entertainment options available. The Terra Yacht is also designed to be accessible to people of all abilities. There are ramps and elevators throughout the vessel, and the public spaces are designed to be easy to navigate. 
Pangeos is designed to be a sustainable floating city. It will use renewable energy sources to power its operations and will have its own water desalinization and food production facilities. The Terra Yacht will also be equipped with a waste management system that will recycle and compost waste. So far, we've learned that Pangeos is a planned ship for Saudi Arabia, and thanks to its limitless supply of renewable energy, the ship is intended to cruise non-stop, giving visitors one of the best experiences they have ever had. But you might be wondering about how expensive it would be to make a literal turtle-shaped yacht. Well, unsurprisingly, yes. It will be a very expensive project, and according to the designer, it would cost somewhere between 7 and 8 billion US dollars to fund the whole project. Moreover, the project is so advanced that the developers are using an NFT crowdfunding project to raise the money. This can also mean that the city will be futuristic enough to leverage cryptocurrency from all over the place. Cryptocurrency will be used by buyers to purchase virtual space on Pangeos right in the metaverse. Seems like a very cool plan, right? Pangeos would be constructed in a shipyard using modular construction methods. The hull and wings would be built separately and then assembled. The entire construction process is estimated to take eight years and cost $8 billion. The first step in constructing Pangeos would be to select a suitable site. The site would need to be large enough to accommodate the shipyard and the assembled Terra Yacht. It would also need to have deep water access and be protected from storms. Once a site has been selected, the shipyard would need to be constructed. The shipyard would need to be large enough to build the hull and wings of Pangeos. It would also need to be equipped with specialized equipment, such as cranes and welding machines. The hull of Pangeos would be constructed using a variety of materials, including steel, aluminum, and carbon fiber. The hull would be divided into several compartments, which would provide buoyancy and stability. The wings of Pangeos would be constructed using a variety of materials, including lightweight composites and solar panels. The wings would contain the living quarters and other amenities. Once the hull and wings have been constructed, they would be assembled in the shipyard. The assembly process would be complex and would require careful planning and execution. Once the hull and wings have been assembled, the Terry Yacht would need to be outfitted. This would involve installing the engines, power generation systems, water desalinization systems, food production systems, and other amenities. Once the Terra Yacht has been outfitted, it would be launched into the water. The launch would be a complex and delicate operation. Once the Terra Yacht has been launched, it would need to be tested to ensure that all of the systems are working properly. The testing process would take several months. Once the Terra Yacht has been tested and certified, it would be deployed to its final location. The deployment process would be complex and would require careful planning and execution. However, there are a number of challenges that need to be overcome before Pangeos can be constructed. One challenge is the size and complexity of the project. Pangeos will be the largest floating structure ever created, and it will be a significant engineering feat to build it. Another challenge is the cost of construction. Pangeos is a very ambitious project, and it will require a significant investment to build. It is not clear where the funding for the project will come from. Finally, there are a number of regulatory challenges that need to be addressed. Pangeos will be a floating city, and it will need to be subject to international maritime law. It is not clear how Pangeos will be regulated or how it will be integrated with other maritime traffic. While Pangeos is one of the most interesting and unique constructions to ever take place, currently there are a lot of controversies around it, and we don't know exactly when it will be built. If the Saudi government takes it under Project 2040, we can expect the yacht to be completed within the next two decades. But it is a long project. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon to be notified for future construction videos like these. Until next time, peace.